is the pendant itself. Yes. And what I have here is my detector. Now this is a contamination meter that registers radiation. Okay. Right now it's seeing just background radiation, which is all those little variant ticks that you hear. Okay. It's not regular. It comes in little spurts here and there. But you can tell if there's radioactive material, the thing will be making chirping, chirping noises consistently. Mm -hmm. And if there's any radioactive material in this, as I bring it close, see? Uh -huh. It does have some in it. So it does have some radioactivity in it. Let's see how much. I'll change the scale on it so that little indicator does not fly up as readily. I'll turn it on quiet too so I don't disturb my neighbors. I'll try it down just one scale less. It's not quite sensitive enough. Let's see what it does here. It's about three... Excuse me. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, do I? Have a good one with well, you and your family. Well, thank you. You're leaving now, huh? No, I'm going back. I'm leaving now to go back downstairs. Merry Christmas. You too, Duenna. It's about 3,700 counts per minute. Mm -hmm. That's what it's getting now, which is a way above background. You heard the background. Which is, this thing's just... Yeah. If I turn it on, you know, you hear it screaming. Right. You know, that's regular, that's radiation in here. Now what it is... Nancy, Merry Christmas. What I, well, what I can Have do is use one. the same meter and put a piece of paper between this and the detector. And we'll see what we get here. It's still up there, so a lot of it's not alpha radiation. If there is, there's not a lot of it. A paper would stop an alpha radiation, so this thing detects alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha is the weakest, so it would not penetrate this paper. Okay. So it, if there was a lot of alphas, the thing would go down quite a bit in counts, but it doesn't really. See, it stays up there about 3,000. I see. It hasn't really gone down hardly at all. It's about 3,700 or so. So what do is use something different. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go ahead, and I don't have a piece of metal handy, but I'll use this meter. This one registers just the gamma component of radiation. And it's set pretty low. get a higher reading. It's about point one. I had it just a little higher. About point millirankin, one point one millirankin per hour. It might be a little bit higher than that, but it's still really low. And that's gamma radiation. Now if I pull it away a little bit. See how far it drops? See mm -hmm. how fast that thing drops? Yeah. So it drops really quick. So this one has 0.1, which is 100 micro rem per hour. Uh -huh. Now to get a dose, on, you know, a dose that's of concern to the public, it has to be 2 millirankin per hour. Okay. That's so we're in the safe zone. Concern. Yeah, we're in the safe zone. All right, good. You know, it's an interesting pendant. I'd, I'm curious. It could have been made out of... Um, Thorium, perhaps? The darkness on it could be uranium, possibly a thorium. Well, it's mostly lava, but they do add a bunch of different uh, minerals and crystals to it, mm -hmm. and okay. they all start in the powder form before they heat it with a nanolaser to create okay. a new stone. Yeah, thorium, because of, of the temperature properties of thorium, I think it could be that, because it tends to give it that darker sheen, and actually gives it kind of a... Um, the sheen itself is made with uh, zircon. You know, if you get a sheen, a dark sheen like that, it could be zircon in there too. Okay. Um, just guessing. You know, I, you'd have to get uh, who, 
you didn't make these. Somebody else made them for you, right? Correct. So we you have, have to get with the manufacturer and ask them, you know, what powders did you use? You know, just get the specifics on it. But it, it does have a little bit of radioactivity to it. Now, does it mention anything about the radioactivity in there at all, or no, on the description? Yeah, on the, it mentions far infrared radiation. Infrared radiation. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious. This is just the... You can pull that out. I don't yeah. want to damage anything. That's okay. It does have some, some heat to it. I don't want to... Ah. There you go. A bioenergy card. Okay. That's what the card is, I guess. <laughs> We're here at the Public Health Authority of Oregon, by the way. Huh. Activate water molecules in our body. Okay, these are these are claims that they make with regards to these things. They're, they're stating it about the radiation content then with regards to the... Well, it has a uh, high negative ion content. So, I think those kind of yeah. go hand in hand. I, I yeah. have an ion tester that... I so measure it with, and it's coming in at about 7,000 ions per cubic centimeter on a 10-second interval. Okay. Well, it does have a certain amount of electrons coming off of it because it does exude some betas, you know, so that's what you're, where you're getting some of the ions. Also, it's creating, it's an ionizing radiation, so it's creating ionizations okay. as well. That's how you're getting ionization. And it's the gammas themselves that are coming off, which are low energy, like I say, the point one millirankin per hour, that's where you're getting a lot of these, this ionization as well. Now, the claims on here, you know, I'm not going into. Sure. You know. Um, I just wanted to establish that they're safe for the public. Yeah, these, these uh, small things, because it's 2 millirankin per hour, 100 millirem per year, and this is 0 0.1 millirem per hour. Now, the, the, the people are not going to be wearing these 24-7. If they mm -hmm. were, they could go through the calcs, you know, figure out how many hours they would have to wear this thing. Yeah. In order, but if, two millirem per hour is the, is the limit, you know, on public exposure. Right. And this thing comes nowhere near that. Okay. Great. So, yeah. Thank um, you so much. Oh, no problem. It's interesting, though, that they come out with this. This is something new? It's or pretty it's... recent. Okay. It's been around. Um, a mostly... As far as I know, have the technology overseas. Yeah, I think what I, what I should do is make a copy of this. I'm just curious, can I make a copy of this, this sure. side of the card? Sure. Okay, just so I have some reference.